Uh, my name is Denny Smith. I'm, a, I'm a, a lifetime resident of Elmira, New York, although I did spend a few years in, in Brooklyn going to uh, art school. And, um, uh, and then after a, a few years in Brooklyn, I really wanted to come back to the country. Um, and I, I was fortunate enough to uh, find a job at the Arnott Art Museum. It was really a, uh, a, a, a training uh, position, uh, curator of collections uh, through the CETA program back in the 1970s. Uh, and I stayed at the museum for uh, a few years, and then, uh, and, and then I acquired uh, a, uh, a framing and uh, art supply and uh, art gallery here in Elmira called The Art Shop, uh, where I uh, amassed shows and uh, made a lot of frames. And, um, and after uh, about 15 years of that, uh, retail was getting pretty old for me. So, uh, so I left and I went to work for a moving company, uh, uh, Nagley Fine Arts, uh, and we hauled artwork all over the country, uh, sometimes all over the world. <coughs> And, and, and then I, re, I, I essentially retired from that uh, because I really wanted to, to paint. Uh, and uh, paint, painting has always been a, a passion of mine since childhood. Um, I'm standing in front of uh, two larger paintings here. These are actually uh, stages uh, of work uh, that, that are completely unfinished. When I start a painting, the first thing I do is make the canvas dirty with paint. Uh, and, 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 and I honestly don't know where these will wind up in the end. Um, uh, but uh, this one has a, about two days worth of work on it. This probably has about a week's worth of work on it. And it's, it needs, I, I, I like to go for a certain level of density uh, in, 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 my, in my abstraction. Uh, and they're not there yet. Um, this one over here uh, was um, a, a, a my art teacher in, in high school was John Fell, and John Fell was a famous Elmira artist back in the day, in his day, uh, and he did all of his paintings with pieces of cut up cardboard. And I was remembering that recently, and so I painted a whole series of these kinds of paintings, but I used credit cards uh, to move the paint around. It was a lot of fun. Um, so, uh, so, so that's, and, 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 and when I work uh, in my studio, I, I listen to music. Uh, I, I, I prefer jazz uh, because of the abstraction uh, or uh, classical, uh, again, abstraction. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not trying to, to direct uh, my thoughts to a, uh, a, a recognizable image. I think that there are enough artists out, excuse me, enough artists out there in the world who are great at that. I've got some friends who are fabulous um, uh, contemporary uh, realist painters uh, and let them do it. I'm having a good time throwing paint around. So I go into my studio, turn on some, uh, actually I do a meditation first, turn on some music, and then I just let myself go. Start choosing colors, moving fast, uh, large brushes, small brushes, uh, just, uh, just get going and have a good time. As, as I had said previously, I, I don't usually have an intention when I'm starting a painting. This is an example of, uh, th and this is called, where's my label? This is called Denny's Dream. Uh, and I painted it, uh, I think, early this year. Um, uh, I've, I, 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 I've done a, a couple of different dream paintings. Um, uh, I've di my, my wife, Diane, has, has had ideas about what I might paint from things that she saw in her dreams. Well, this was something that I saw in my dream. I, I dream a lot about art, especially, uh, I mean, making art. Uh, and um, uh, especially if I haven't been making art for a while. It, uh, my dreams kind of pushed me back to the studio. This painting came to me as a dream. Uh, and, it, and, and, and it was very specific. Dark, uh, almost, almost black. This is, I, I know that from what you can see on the television, this looks like it's all black, uh, but it's actually uh, dark uh, chromatic black around the edges, in, including uh, red and green to keep, it, to keep it deep and dark. And then right up the middle is this green column. And that's what I saw in my dream. 
I went into my studio and I made this painting. Um, uh, and, I've, uh, and, and I've got another uh, uh, suggestion from, from my wife, Diane, uh, for another painting that I'll probably take care of uh, this year. But this was a lot of fun. This is simply stuff that you learn in your high school art classes. It's a, it, it's a color study. Uh, and, it, and, 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 and although you can't see it very well, these colors were very specifically chosen by me uh, uh, to, to, to represent whatever it is. It's a green stripe on a dark background. Uh, and that's, that's as simple as that, you know? So, so sometimes, sometimes abstract art is really difficult to understand, and that's because it's difficult to understand. Um, and this is, this is realism for me. <laughs> so that's really all I have to say about it. Um, I, I, it, 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 it was successful for me. Uh, it's, it's a painting for me. It'll probably, I don't know, maybe it'll, I mean, I always want to sell art, but you know, sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And abstract art, that's, that's a, this is a, this is a conservative valley we live in and people really like art to show them something. And I like my art to show them the abstraction of classical music or jazz. So that's my story. This show um, uh, at Community Arts of Elmira, which is a members show, and there's a lot of really interesting and intriguing work in this room, um, other than just a black painting. This is the last weekend for the show, so the gallery hours are Friday and Saturday, 11 to 1, uh, and, then, uh, and then something else will be hung on the walls this year. It'll be fun.